Well, now things start to get a little tricky. There will be a final vote that will be taking place later this afternoon, but after the declaration makes it through the House, it will have to go through um, the Senate. Now, the Senate is still uh, controlled by Republicans, but Republicans only really have a slight majority in that chamber. Um, and d Democrats are trying to convince just a few senators from the Republican side to come over onto their side so they can vote for the declaration to get it through. Now, even if um, this declaration makes it through the Senate, it will have to go on Trump's desk. And Trump has already said, as you say, uh, stated earlier, that he will be using his veto powers to strike this declaration back down, which means that it will have to go back to Congress. And if Democrats want this declaration to go through, they'll have to secure a two-thirds majority in both the House and Senate. So even though this is an early victory for Democrats, they still have quite a way to go in order for this declaration to get through. Like you said, certainly some more hurdles in front of the Democrats. So what's the main grievance that uh, Congress has regarding Trump's national emergency declaration? Because this isn't the first one that President Trump has declared. Well, the main issue that Congress seems to have with this national emergency is budgeting. When it comes to financing domestic products, that's usually something that falls under the powers of Congress. And Democratic lawmakers have accused Trump of basically abusing his emergency powers in order to fund a project. And Republican lawmakers, uh, or at least some of them anyway, seem to be uh, agreeing with this, uh, with this stance, saying that they do not feel comfortable with Trump using his executive powers in this way because it does set a dangerous precedent. Um, some uh, Republican lawmakers have said that in the future, when a Democratic president gets into office, then they could just as easily use their executive powers for this um, for um, an issue that is important to them, and they could basically override what Congress does. And that is not something that uh, Republican lawmakers want to happen. So no matter how uh, Democrats or Republicans are on either side feel in regards to border security, the issue of executive overreach and the abuse of executive powers is something that both uh, lawmakers on both sides can seem to get on board with. And that is the main issue that Democrats are using in order to push this resolution through.